Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm doing a beer from a brewery that actually I really like. Uh, I haven't had a ton of their stuff, but everything I've had I really, really like. I don't think I talk about them nearly enough on my actual podcast. So, um, giving them their due at the moment. This is by Modern Times Beer Company. They're out of San Diego, California. And this is their Black House uh, Stout. Um, they have a normal Black House Stout, but this is one of their special release ones. Uh, and it's with coffee, toasted coconut, and cocoa nibs. Sounds very good. 5.8% uh, alcohol by volume. But one of the other things I really want to point out about a lot of their beers that I really like is that they have the IBUs on there, uh, the SRM, which is fun, uh, which people out there don't know what SRM is. It's basically like a color um coating for for beer for like how light or dark it is uh, and then they have the final gravity which you know it, it's more of a brewer's type thing for the final gravity and that'll help you determine abv in the end uh, but they also list all their ingredients which is fun uh, in this case there was some coffee in it so they listed where the coffee came or uh, what origins the coffee are from uh, there's 75 percent ethiopian humbella and 25 percent sumatran mandoling which is cool, and then the other ingredients for the beer itself. Uh, two row, roasted barley, flaked barley, pale chocolate, and then Munich Crystal 60, kiln coffee, midnight wheat, and oats. So, I like how they just lay it all out there. It's very cool. Um, and also, if people are homebrewers, it can kind of give them an idea of, you know, the ingredients they would need to try and replicate this if they wanted to. Obviously, it doesn't have the proportions on there, but you might be able to figure it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's got a nice tan head on the top. It looks very, very dark, as you can imagine. I don't know why I really feel the need to show that. Oh, I haven't really... I think on the last one, I didn't actually show the bottle of what I was doing. But yeah, there's the Modern Times Special Release Black House. So you know that's what it is. All right, so I'm gonna smell this. Smell a lot of chocolate, a lot of those cocoa nibs in there. Some nice roasty coffee in there as well. Can't really get the coconut though. Um, this is an older bottle too. It's not like super. Is there a bottle date? I don't think there's a date. There isn't a bottle date, but I know this this might be about a year old, maybe. So maybe that's why I'm not getting a whole lot of coconut in the nose. I feel like I have a hard time picking up coconut sometimes, though, depending on how it's done. Not something like, like Death by uh, Coconut by Oscar Blues, but stuff where it's not as front and center. But yeah, I really can't smell coconut. It's just like tons of cocoa nib aspects. It smells very dark chocolatey really fudgy smelling too like super fudgy and then yeah like a nice really roasty coffee which is how I really like mine more on the bold end it smells really nice and there's a little bit of like an alcohol on the end of it <sighs> maybe a little bit of like a um, soy sauce note on the end as well you try it really thins out on the finish because it's not an imperial stout um so usually with beers like this i like it to be imperial stouts just because it, the body just is more dessert like for me but considering it's just a straight up stout i like it this is good um there's a lot of that you know roasty coffee that i was talking about there's a lot of that kind of chocolatey fudginess from the cocoa nib toasted coconut really can't Maybe as it warms up, because this is still actually pretty cold, but I just can't really get, can't really get the coconut. The coffee's really nice on the end, though. I will say that, like, like I was saying with the aroma, how, like, roasty that coffee is, that's a very nice finish on this beer. It's, like, a lot of chocolate up front and then a lot of coffee on the end. It's nice. Um, it's a good beer, considering it's just a straight-up stout. I would like it to be Imperial just because there's more body, it's more chocolatey than, but all things considered, it's nice. It's a very nice beer. I like it. Modern Times, good job. I'm a fan. Uh, if you ever do an Imperial version, maybe Bur Bourbon Barrel Age 2, that would be unbelievable 
So, cool. But if you just keep doing this, I would like to get my hands on more of it because I enjoy it. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking out this video. Um, if you have any ideas, you can just email me, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Also, if you just have any feedback in general. So anyway, until next time, go have yourself an awesome beer.